Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 159. I have my journal on Monday art channel at the ready, as well as some water-soluble oil paint. This is the raw umber color, which I'm just going to dilute with a little bit of water so that I can make some marks in my journal. As I want my marks to be quite irregular, I use a piece of cambric first, which I'm spraying with water, to dab into the paint. And that already gives me an interesting something to press my art channel in. I'm sorry about the dogs barking, they're having a play, and of course I have to do it right outside the studio. This is my A Layer A Day art channel, so I'm picking up the rest of the paint in there as well. I'm leaving that aside to dry and meanwhile I can start working on the little pieces of paper that I want to incorporate. So I'm just going to cut some squares out of Kenzon paper. Once all my little squares are ready, I can just glue them into my journal. It's a game of patience. To add a little interest to my little squares, I'm going in with some gesso, which I'm just pressing into the openings using my finger. And to make it even more interesting, I'm going in with some crackle paint, doing the same thing, but just here and there, not everywhere. For the next step, I prepped my rectangle stencil, the small version of it, as well as this contour pencil from the Inktense uh, set. So this one is not water soluble. And it's actually not contour that's makeup. This one is the outline. <laughs> you can see where my priorities are at some moments. To 
To add colors to my rectangles, I'm using my new color twos, which are water solubles. And the colors that I'm using are russet, turquoise, rose, and brown. I still want my little squares, my paper squares, to be softer than they are. So I'm using white chalky finish from Deco Art and a brayer just to apply it on the top of those little paper squares. To intensify the contrast between my rectangles and the rest of the spread, I'm going back in with the same colors and I'm building up the layers. To add a little bit more drama to the spread, I'm going back in with the black non-water soluble pencil, which is not the contour one, but the outline one. And I'm doing it around the rectangles as well as around the little square paper shapes that I have on the spread.
And because it's a little bit too intense, I'm using my kneadable eraser to lift some of that pencil away again. I took these two pieces of scrap paper out of my little bucket where I keep all the leftover bits that I can use on other projects and it so happens that these color coordinate with my spread so I might as well use them. I'm picking out a couple of stamps that I want to use and I'm going for my London, New York stamp set and I want to use this um, writing stamp, which is completely not readable, but that's the point. And then also this stamp date stamp. And to stamp it, I use um, coffee archival ink. No block, because I want my stamping to be irregular. To keep the pieces of scrap paper in place, I I'm using the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz, and I'm also checking that the strips are coming out but not too far compared to the rest of my journal. I don't want them to get damaged um, when going around with my journal. And because I still have this little piece left over, I want to use it as well. I took out my January Butterfly Whispers Mixed Media stickers. So these were for the January A Layer A Day Challenge. They're no longer available, but each month during one weekend, you have the stickers available for the upcoming month challenges. So if you would like to jump in, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. That's where I announce the upcoming stickers. So I chose the wording patience because it was completely in tune with everything that was going on around me. And that is also why I made a spread that required some patience, of course. The black scribbles that I added were done with black fluid acrylic that I have put in a needle bottle uh, thingy so that I can scratch where I want to have some black paint going on. I want some more black, but this time I want to be able to do it with my palette knife. So I'm taking it out of a regular little bottle and then fishing out a palette knife. I can just dab it on on the edge of my spread.
I want to be able to do the same thing with this turquoise from the chalky finish, which is called Treasure. So I'm taking another little bottle, putting in some of that paint, and then I can do some scribblings, scratching with the turquoise paint. I wanted to add some more of that rusty color that I have going on on the rectangles. So I took out the fluid acrylic quinacridone gold from DecoArt to go back over the black with a palette knife again. Now the contrast was a little bit too dramatic to my liking, so I'm taking out some white chalky finish again and then using a sponge I'm going to push all of that into the background. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can do so by clicking on the photo of my face in just a couple of seconds. I will see you back here next Thursday for a new episode of Papillon's Flutterings and next Saturday for a new A Layer A Day challenge. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down A Layer A Day in your journal. Butterfly kisses!